The Israeli-Palestinian conflict, economic issues, or the tension between secular and ultra-Orthodox, none of these burning issues concern the members of Israel's Green Leaf Party, a political movement running for the parliament for the sixth time, aiming to promote one issue, legalizing cannabis. I-24 News correspondent Ori Shapira attended their campaign gala. And that's it. Spirits were high at this Tel Aviv joint as members of Aleya Rock or the Green Leaf Party presented their candidates for the 2015 elections. It was easily the best party in town. Dozens of people came to show their supports as the party that campaigns for legalizing marijuana launched its campaign. Among them was Gadi Wilshersky, a freshman filmmaker who's working on his first feature film. So what's your film about? Gee, I really don't remember. Established in 1999, the Greenleaf Party campaigns on one issue, legalizing marijuana in Israel. Though medical marijuana is to some extent legal, members of the party want to follow such places as Colorado and the Netherlands and to make cannabis available to all. This year, the task will be much harder for the party since the entrance threshold to parliament is four seats. But the leader of Green Leaf is not too concerned. If everybody who supports legalizing cannabis would vote for us, we will gain six to ten seats in parliament. Many see this party as a gimmick or a joke. But others see this issue as a top priority in Israel. Cannabis can be very helpful for chronic pain. And that's why I'm here. My mother has cancer and needs medical marijuana. She faces all this bureaucracy. Meanwhile, I get her marijuana in a shady way. It may not be the most dominant party in Israel, but members and supporters of Green Leaf are on a roll for the upcoming election. However, they likely will not make it and will once again be forced to see their political aspirations vanish in a puff of smoke.